Hi guys, welcome to the Max 3D Design. Today I bought these electronic candles and seems all over the world they are in the same diameter. I decided to make tutorial on how to make nice electronic candle holder in Fusion 360. So let's get started. There is many options how to create candle holder. So today we're gonna review one of them and for that we're gonna create a sketch on the XZ origin. So I know that the candle is 40 millimeters in diameter. That's why I'm gonna choose a line, place it in the center of the origin and make it 22 millimeters long. Then I will make one more line 20 millimeters high and I hit escape to exit line command. Then I will need fit point spline. I will start from this point and I place some extra dots in order to make a shape of my holder. And when I finish I can hit escape or tick on that green checkbox. And then I need to hit escape to exit spline command. I can readjust my sketch a little bit just by dragging the points or simply click on the point and change it its angles. So when we're happy with our shape now we need to make a surface. For that I'm gonna press O for offset on my keyboard, select my lines and I will type 2 millimeters. Enter. Then I will need to connect my sketch. For that I can use line and here also. And I hit escape to exit line command. Now when I'm happy with the sketch I press finish sketch. Then I will choose revolve from menu. So our profile is automatically selected. If not, then you select profile which you want to revolve. Select axis, let's say our Z axis. And Fusion will do all the work for us. Now I simply click OK. So that's our shape for the holder. So now we need to decorate a little bit our candle holder. For that, we will have to construct offset plane. Construct from X, Z plane approximately 22 millimeters. Let's make it a little bit further. 47 will be enough. And then I hit OK. Now all what we have to do, insert SVG on that plane. For that we're gonna click insert and choose insert SVG. Open. I downloaded this dear SVG file from internet absolutely free. Now I need to click open position my SVG file, so I'm going to rotate. Then we need to make it a little bit smaller and reposition our deer in the center. Let's say I'm happy with this result and I hit OK. Now we have a sketch of our deer. I click finish sketch. Then all what we have to do is to extrude this deer inside the glass so that we can cut out shape of a deer. I'm gonna hit letter E for extrude or click here on the panel extrude icon and I'm gonna simply extrude my sketch through one of the sides of our model and then I simply hit OK. Now we have a nice shape of a deer in our candle holder. Of course one is not enough or if you're enjoying with one you can leave just one but I prefer to put at least two more of them on our candle holder. So for that all what we have to do is click on create drop down menu. We're gonna choose pattern circular pattern. Then in the type we have to choose futures. We have to choose our future from the timeline over here which is our latest extrusion. When we've chosen that, we need to choose axis. Axis will be our Z axis right here. And it's automatically offering us to put three more deers around. We can make it four, five, even six, seven. It's a little bit messy. So let's say five, or as I said in the beginning, three. And then all what we have to do is just click OK. Computer will automatically calculate all the calculations he need to make. And that's how looks our candle holder. 
I wanna add some fillets at the bottom for the candle and also I wanna add some fillets for the edges. So I just simply click fillet, choose the edges I want my fillet to be, type one millimeter fillet and hit OK. Then I wanna make for my candle also fillet, I choose fillet, I can long press and hold and choose my edge from drop down menu and hit 1.5 millimeter fillet and then I press OK. So it looks great. Now all what we have to do is just print it out. For that I'm gonna simply click File, 3D Print, choose our body and then I simply click OK. So with one millimeter nozzle it's gonna take us three hours and five minutes to print. Stick around if you wanna see the printing results, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and have a great print.